the thought is chilling. But with the right knowledge and preparation, you can increase your chances of survival. Today, we're going to break down the survival process into clear, easy-to-follow steps. Firstly, understand the three stages of a nuclear explosion, the blast wave, the heat wave, and the radioactive fallout. Each stage presents unique challenges and requires specific responses. The blast wave arrives first, causing widespread destruction. If you're outside when this wave hits, you could suffer severe injuries or even death. So when you hear a loud explosion or see an intense flash of light, take cover immediately. Duck and cover under a sturdy piece of furniture or lie flat on the ground, covering your head and neck. The heat wave follows the blast wave. It brings extreme temperatures enough to start fires and cause severe burns. To protect yourself, stay under cover until the heat wave passes. This could take a few seconds to a minute. The third and final stage is the radioactive fallout. This is a mix of dirt and debris combined with the radioactive particles from the explosion. Fallout can be lethal, but it loses its intensity fairly quickly. The most dangerous period is the first two weeks after the explosion. Here's the crucial part. If you're caught outside during a nuclear explosion, seek shelter immediately. The best places are basements or the middle floors of high-rise buildings. Stay away from windows and doors as they offer the least protection against radiation. Once you're in a safe location, decontaminate yourself. Remove your outer clothing, wash your skin, and clean your hair. This can remove up to 90% of radioactive material. Surviving the aftermath of a nuclear attack also means having enough supplies to last at least two weeks. This includes food, water, medical supplies, and a battery or crank-powered radio. It's also essential to have a plan in place for communication and reunification with loved ones. Remember, the key to surviving a nuclear attack is preparation. Understand the stages of a nuclear explosion. Seek immediate shelter and stay there, especially during the first two weeks. Decontaminate yourself thoroughly and have enough supplies to last for at least two weeks. This is a sobering topic, but it's crucial to be prepared for the worst while hoping for the best. Stay safe, stay prepared, and remember, knowledge is your best defense.